this is a really uh, symbolic and highly significant exhibition. This is the start of what I'm calling the Retro Guard London season, the largest concentration of Neue Slowenische Kunst events in London since 1987. And some of the documentation here is from 1987, from the events at Riverside. Um, and some very rare material which you can see here behind you. Uh, this is a really important exhibition and if you're anywhere near London while these exhibitions are on, you need to come and see this. If you've got any interest in NSP at all, this is very, very important to see. What you can see is a reference on Slovene and European history of modern art. Neue Slovenische Kunst is very uh, complex uh, art movement. Somebody who wanna go in, understand like Alexei Monroe and many other things, yeah. many other people understand, but that's not uh, so simple. So, I understand why people don't understand. People don't understand because you need uh, you need to know background. You need to read. You need to listen. You need to see movies. You need to see theater. You need to see. You need to listen uh, Leibach uh, LPs and CDs. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see the cover work of uh, LPs I, I had uh, for ages. So really happy to see the videos and all their artwork. Yeah, cool. <laughs> is there is there a piece that's particularly? Uh, yeah, that's one. Oh, this one. Yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> so um, I did. I'm just studying the way to uh, remove the cover. There is no. One. I think somehow it relates to, uh, it relate to, it relate to some kind of utopia. Yes, and, uh, yes, yes. and uh, uh, represent also the danger of, yes. uh, uh, of, uh, of too much liberty, for example, of uh, the liberty of choice. Yes. It seems to me that there's a lot of motifs that recur in the work within this exhibition that kind of cross-pollinate with each other in contradictory ways. Um, whether they are sort of from pop culture or from, as you described, the kind of uh, the history of discarded ob objects as well, yes, yes, um, yes. of poor objects. Do, do you feel that that uh, sort of disempowers these images in a way because it makes them part of a museum? Uh, this this object here is uh, is now an artifact under glass. Do you see what I mean? Has it has it lost has it lost some of its relevance? Has it become part of a museum history as it were? Well, I think we're activating it here right. through this camera, right. and I think that's really important when it comes to archive. Right. Um, and I think uh, Michaela has done a really great job of making it not purely historical. So specifically what's happening in London, that's a kind of symbolic return because uh, London was very important for NSK groups in the 80s, especially in London. And this was one of their biggest spaces. And it's really strange that none of the NSK groups have actually exhibited in London yep. for the last 25 years. So this is long enough to do it. Yeah, I was going to see this question. Where did see the NSK taking uh, this, this um, event like this? Uh, in a sense, in that you know, a lot of people are wanting to organise uh, parallel fringe events around the exhibitions. Yes. Uh, there's a new event taking place at the Marcus Campbell Bookshop, which is a display of rare NSK artefacts, and there'll be some talks there, there'll be some phone card displayed. So people are more and more doing this kind of project on their own initiative, not with me being involved, not with Irwin being involved. It's, it's really growing in a nice, interesting, organic way. And I think really what's very interesting is that Leibach and NSK are coming to Tate Modern and are coming to London now. 
having emerged in the decaying authoritarian Yugoslavia, but now coming back to a decaying authoritarian Britain and re importing their totalitarian authoritarian aesthetics in the British social context now. I think that's really, really interesting. I'm really looking forward to seeing how British audiences respond to this. Uh, this exhibition, I mean, the starting point is the David Gothel archive in London, which uh, was containing a box called the Slovenian Box. And inside, I found out a lot of material by a new Slovenian Kunst. And this was the first connection that with this item, I went to Ljubljana back and I met Irving, Laiva Kunst, uh, Zivadinov, uh, and uh, Darko Pokon from New Collectivism. And I tried to find the relating connection between the items and the content that was around the story that built the history of the archives. So, uh, this uh, exhibition here is based on the collection of uh, documents uh, which were um, uh, which are owned by David Gothard who was who's very important for bringing uh, most branches of NSK to Britain and Scotland especially Irvin and theater of Cyprian Nazi sisters and he also connect Laiva with Michael Clark so I think that uh, this exhibition is a really well prepared very well done uh, and uh, thanks to uh, Michele Draszczyk, a curator from Gorizia. And this exhibition is just kind of introduction to other NSK events uh, and exhibitions, starting with uh, Irwin exhibition uh, in Calvert 22 and the folk, NSK folk art, and, and then all events which will take place, symposium on and, and, and Tate Modern and the concert of Laiva. We believe that in art, morality is nonsense. In practice, it is immoral. In people, it is a sickness.